Hey, hey, everybody, Smiles here, and if you couldn't tell already, yes, we're playing Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's a really fun fighting game, one of my favorites, and uh, I remember when this game first came out, it was super fun, and uh, yeah, so let's get into an arcade match. Alright, so, I guess the history behind Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was, earlier that year, there was Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which I was super excited for, just because I'm a huge fan of Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and, uh, just these types of fighters in general. Um, but I was kind of upset that Ultimate did come out the same year, but there was one character, one character alone that said that this was a good decision. And that character's name is Phoenix Wright. That's right. Mr. Wright himself is a fight, was a playable character in this game. He's one of my favorite char uh, he's actually one of my favorite characters in Capcom history, if not my favorite Capcom history, uh, character. It's because I love Phoenix Wright games. Uh, Phoenix Wright, uh, Dual Destinies, the fifth one in the Ace Attorney series, comes out uh, this November. Oh, wait, no, it's this October! Oh my gosh, it's coming out sooner, which is super exciting. Uh, and so my main team is obviously Phoenix Wright, uh, and basic, uh, wait, Phoenix Wright with Zero, who is the representation of uh, the Mega Man X games, which is my favorite Mega Man series of all time. Uh, Mega Man is definitely one of my favorite Capcom games, and X is the best, so that's Zero. And of course, Beautiful Joe, which they need to make more. I think the last one was just on the DS in, I think, 2005. But anyways, I need to make more. So, yeah, there you go. Ace Attorney, Mega Man X, and Beautiful Joe. My three favorite Capcom games of all time. Ready to go. Objections, boomerangs, and Wii Ujins are going to be flying all over the place. No, you can't. You can't yell objection like Phoenix, right? So, you might be wondering, uh... You might be wondering, uh, why the costume choices for Phoenix Wright, uh, Zero and Joe. So, sorry, uh, so the idea behind Phoenix Wright's, uh, Zero's and Joe's costume is, okay, so Phoenix Wright is, uh... God, come on, my curl circles ain't coming out. What? Hang on, let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so Phoenix Wright, oh, <laughs> he didn't want to fight him at all. Um, so Phoenix Wright is, uh, Goto, Zero is Vile, and, uh, Beautiful Joe is Jedi for Black from, uh, uh, Beautiful Joe 2. So, so all these costumes are based on, like, bosses, hence I call this team the Like a Boss team. Yeah, you're not gonna see any professional level playing here. I know Zero can do those buster cancels and stuff like that, but that ain't gonna be here. I am not that good with Zero. Alright, sorry. I'm, I'm finding Iron Fist guilty of his crimes. The one thing about Vita Joe's hypers, though, is that they do kind of leave them open. So... Alright. Obviously, you're gonna block all that. Not a big deal. X Factor prevents chip damage, but he's pretty much in a bind. And cut him down to size. Woo! All right, there's match one. So yeah, this is one of my favorite teams. Uh, besides this team, I have uh, a team with Doctor Doom, Virgil, and Magneto, aka the most OP team of all time. Pretty much everything that's top tier in that. And then I have another team, which is Captain America, Firebrand, and Doctor Strange. And that team is pretty fun to play with as well. But my favorite team, obviously, is Phoenix Wright, Zero, and Beautiful Joe. Just because they're my three favorite characters in this entire game. And surprisingly, they work well together. I mean... So the nice thing about Maya Sealed... Ah, uh, not a good idea. Thanks, Zero. The nice thing about Maya Sealed is that it can actually absorb up to 100,000 damage. Yes, the fingers of doom. Darn it, I'm dropping my Phoenix Wright combos like nobody's business. Making me sad. Let's see if I can get an Ace Attorney on uh, Captain America. Hang on, I don't have enough meter. Okay, there we go. 
Got him. The one who actually committed the crime is you! No alibi, no justice, no dream, no hope! It's time to pay for your crime! Take that! Boom! Got him! Uh, my favorite. I just like how they designed Phoenix Wright in this game just because they made him, like, and he's a quirky character, yeah, but, like, they found a way to represent his game in a fighting game, which is kind of cool, like, the idea of, like, picking up evidence they grab, they get the right evidence, and then going to trial, landing the turnabout, the objection, and then, bam, just wailing on things. It's super fun. Um, the defense is ready to present. And then Zero obviously has so many cool moves. Like Ryu Jin comes from one of my me favorite Mega Man X games, Mega Man X4. Uh, they even have representation. Maya Trip. Uh, they even have representation for Mega Man X8. And, uh, Beautiful Joe has pretty good representation from his game. I mean, to be fair, he's only been in, like, two major games and Well, three major games. So, not as much as, like, Phoenix Wright in. Ah, he countered me. Okay, so this is a strategy I like to use. Just go in the air. Oh, he's countering all of them. Amaterasu- Oh, she is, rather. Man, Amaterasu getting better at it. Ooh. Oh, Mr. Wright's gonna have to eat a lot of that. Oh, no, he blocked most of it. That's good. Nah, right. uh, that was a damn idea. Alright, so, um, back in the day, me and my friends used to play Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 a lot. And what I mean a lot, like, pretty much we'd spend, like, nights from, like, we get over there, place around 8 o'clock in, uh, in the afternoon. Alright, in the evening, rather, sorry. And then from 8 to 4 in the morning, we just play Marvel. And it was pretty fun. But then, uh,. The game kind of died out a month or two. Uh, uh, one of my friends. Oh, shoot. Sorry. It's hard to talk and fight at the same time. Hi. Uh, that was a dumb idea to bring Jiren. Yeah, so, like, one of our game, uh, friends was about to get the game, and then he was like, eh, that's okay. Uh, he decided not to, and then people stopped playing. I'm just gonna throw my fingers. Yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, what? He cancelled it! Uh, and then we stopped playing. And then when I went out to LA, I used to play with Ryan all the time. He's one of my best friends. And, uh, shouts out to Ryan, because... It's funny, because every time... Oh, I chipped him out. Every time we'd play... Another happy ending! Uh, every time we'd play... Uh, he'd, like, spend hours in training lab, and then, uh, training mode, and then he's like, alright, smart, I'm ready to play. Then I get my objection, he gets really mad, and he's like, ah, I quit. And I felt bad if I ever got you mad, Ryan. But it's actually kind of funny to watch him get mad. Oh no, Phoenix Wright versus Phoenix Wright. Oh no, the defense is ready to present. This is an interesting matchup. Oh, he's gumshoe Phoenix Wright. Nice. I mean, that combo is a little bit harder to pull off, uh, usually, but I'm glad I'm getting better at it. I think one thing I need to do is get better with... Uh, so the one thing about Maya Shield, yeah, is that you can actually throw the opponent out of, out of Maya Shield. So that's handy if, uh, if you have to deal with really good Phoenix like players like Life Arrow, is if they try to pull off Maya Shield. Uh, you can just throw him out. Yeah, sorry. I was in the middle of the combo. Oh, jeez Louise! What is this madness? Alright, zero. Darn it, I tried to... Actually, this team looks very similar to, uh... uh I forget, Chris G? Because he played Virgil and Morgan. I think he also... Or maybe he doesn't play... No, he doesn't play Virgil with Morgan. Go, go, I'll chip out Phoenix, right? Ooh. 
Yeah, so my beautiful Joe compared to Zero and Phoenix Wright is not that good. I I'm not going to lie. I mean, just because, like, definitely Phoenix Wright is my best character in this game. Because I play with him so much, but Beautiful Joe is okay. I usually use Joe as my time waster. Like, he's supposed to just, like, burn up time. And also have a combo with Joe. Ooh. Alright, I'll play some distance. I also like how his launch is a sneeze, uh, from Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney 3, uh, Trials and Tribulation. Just whenever, uh, young Phoenix Wright would always have a cold. <laughs> that works. Even on hard, the computers are pretty easy. Boom! But yeah, uh, I don't really get to play Marvel with my friends that often. Because nowadays when I play Marvel, they always get mad. Like Tyler is like, oh, Spawn said, oh, why we play this game? It's so frustrating. It's fun. I enjoy it. I mean, and it's it's really a game you shouldn't take seriously. Granted, there are people that go to Evil and they are really good, like just of Wan and stuff. But like, honestly, I just have a fun time, and I don't even care if like have my combos like hit. I have a few combos, but that's about it. They're not even that good. Ooh. Oh, jeez! Stepped on his spine! Alright, let's try to do this. Ah, he blocked it! Dang, that was pretty good. I wonder if this will work. Oh my gosh, it worked! That was crazy! I usually fail with the Joe and the air cannon, but I'm surprised that worked this time. Yeah, I'm the type of guy who, if I catch your assist, I will try to punish as much as possible. Alright, let's switch to Joe. Yeah, red hot kicks. I need to throw more boomerang. Ah! They were not in the range. Alright, let's set some traps. Yeah! Knock out by missile, the dog! Yes! yes! <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, I mean, one thing I am upset though about Ultimate is that sure they had a few DLC stuff, but like, there is no regular Mega Man. Like, classic Mega Man or Battle Network Mega Man. Now, a lot of people have said, you know, X should be in the game. But the problem with X in this game is that, you know, there's already a representation from the X series. You know, you have Tron for Legends, uh, and then Zero for X. Oh, that's a trick I learned, is you can actually bully people uh, with your down. Ah, uh, I thought I had enough time for the transformation. Oh yeah, one of my, fa uh, one of my friends in Spark's favorite character is Rocket Raccoon, but... Yeah, he was the one who, he, he was about to get the game and then it didn't work out for him. And then that's when people stopped playing! Darn you, Sparks! It's on you! Yeah, so, back to, I'm still distracted while fighting. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Yeah, it shouldn't be X, it shouldn't be Legends X. Um, ooh, that was a good I have Agamotto. Ooh, he was getting beat up pretty bad. Oh, that's a nice combo, dang.
Um, yeah, so X Mega Man should be in this game one way or another. Okay, I'm just hitting buttons now. Um, you gotta be kidding me. Uh oh. He's wasting my meter. Oh, he went for the level 3. Not enough. One who actually committed a crime? Yeah, I, I have to do the AC for me. This is the coolest thing ever! Yeah, Tron is guilty of stealing stuff. Sorry about that, Tron. But yeah, they should definitely make more DLC for this game, like, as far as characters are concerned. That'd be fun. Like, a Mega Man, um, Squirrel Girl from Marvel. Yeah, I said Squirrel Girl. I think she'd be awesome! I mean, she beat Doctor Doom with squirrels! That is cool! Like, you can't... You can't fathom how amazing that is. So, yeah, Squirrel Girl, uh, Mega Man. Oh, and we're already at the final Galactus already? Dang, that was pretty fast. Um, but yeah, that would be kind of fun. Nightcrawler from X-Men. I think X-Men, they have a good representation of X-Men, but, like, why do they have Sentinel? Nightcrawler would be really cool. I wouldn't pick Cyclops, because then it's Optic Blast. Oh, jeez, they're coming in hot. All right, Zero. You're up. Like I said, you're not gonna watch professional play here. I'm just the guy who hits the buttons in the Marvel. I am excited for Mega Man being in the next match, though. That is awesome. Um, that's gonna be really fun. Jeez, I'm getting harassed over here. No, I don't want to slow- Ah, oh, darn it, because Dormammu was on the other side. I meant to- I wanted to do mock speed with him. I guess it'll be somewhat beneficial. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Maybe it'll work. There you go. I'll beat up a Puma. Uh, they wouldn't let me catch him. There you go. Good job, Joe. Oh, oh yeah, and the new Phoenix Strike game is gonna be amazing. Oddly enough, it's rated M, which I was really shocked at. But apparently, it's the same... Uh-oh. So apparently, it's like the same content. And like... Like, E3... Uh, e ESRB, rather, uh, gave it the same reasonings that they gave other Phoenix Wright games. So, I'm really confused as to why... So, I'm really surprised as why they gave it an M rating instead. So, I'll have to look into it, but I don't think it's going to be too different. Oh, great. Alright. <laughs> Pretty much a spam with the fingers. Order in the court. But yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. Um, can't wait for that. A new Mega Man X game needs to be made. A new Beautiful Joe game needs to be made. And at least Capcom has one part of their business strategy, right? Making a new Phoenix Wright game. Um, people have said it's amazing already. It's already been out in Japan. But yeah, I'm really excited. I've seen my share of bizarre cases, but never have I handled one so important. The client's so unique. And so, without further ado, I calls the witness stand the defendant Galactus. I hereby renew my request for a change of venue. I've seen this so many times, but yeah, um, thanks for tuning in to a um, when well watching me play Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It was super fun. Um, definitely one of my favorite fighters, uh, especially because it has a lot of my favorite characters in it. Um, Capcom, if you're listening, make more DLC that is character-based.
Uh, you know, balancing stuff is cool too and all, but characters. I want more characters. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you have a game request or anything, feel free to throw it in the comments or uh, the suggestions below or PM me. You know, whatever. Um, this is Smiles here, playing video games. Y'all take it easy. Peace.